The human brain contains many distinct regions composed of subregions. The brainstem, for example, is made up of the medulla, pons, and midbrain, while the thalamus contains dozens of nuclei. The hippocampus, buried deep within the temporal cortex, can be subdivided into many parts, each with a different structure, and each amygdala contains around another dozen nuclei. You can segment these regions with the FreeSurfer command Segment Subregions. I have a subject downloaded from the Fink et al. 2021 study, which looked at hippocampal volume changes as a result of a running exercise intervention. As you can see, these data have already been run through Recon All. In order to do a cross-sectional analysis of the hippocampus and amygdala from the directory containing your subject, type subjects dir equals backticks pwd, and then segment subregions hippo amygdala cross followed by the subject's name. On my machine, this takes about seven minutes to generate different levels of granularity for the segmentations for both the right and left hemispheres. If you look at the help file for segment subregions, you will see how to do the same process for segmenting the thalamus and the brainstem. We're going to come back once this command finishes. Once it finishes, you can find the results in the MRI directory. The volume with the most complete labeling scheme is lh.hippoamiglabels.mgz. The meaning of the other suffixes can be found in the link down below. The files lh.amignucvolumes.txt and lh.hippoSFvolumes.txt contain the cubic millimeter volume estimates in the left hemisphere for each subregion of the amygdala and the hippocampus, respectively. The segmentations can then be visualized in free view by loading them as volumes with the file brain mask as an underlay. This analysis can also be run on a supercomputing cluster by using something like the following template. In this directory, I've downloaded all of the subjects for this particular data set, and I have something called segmentation batch template dot sbat. Within this, I specify parameters like the amount of time for this particular job, the number of nodes, CPUs, and so on. I also load FreeSurfer 7.4.1, and I have a variable called change me that I put in my CD and segment subregions command. I then have another script called run seg analysis, which I'll open up in the VI editor, which uses sed to change that variable change me and replace them with a list of all the subject IDs that I have in a file called subjectlist.txt. This creates a new SBAT file, which is then submitted using SBATCH. I can loop over all of these by submitting this particular script typing bash runsecanalysis.sh. You see that all the batch jobs are submitted, which can then be checked with sq. At this point, you could then try to replicate the results of the original Fink et al. 2021 paper. Good luck, and I hope this helps you with the segment subregions command.